Uh, hello, welcome. I guess I get to talk about something in our camp, like option cursor to select keg. Long time ago, I was publishing this similar video tutorial. Ah, come on, window. But it's not really uh, detailed, it doesn't show uh, very good details, and also the interface of program was really outdated. But now I have much better version of Blender to show you how to use this feature. Uh, normally you see this icon, you have to drag by left mouse button, you have to hold left mouse button uh, when you, uh, how to say in English, when you point, uh, I forgot an English word, when you try to insert it, you can have access to an option view. Look to see the cursor, what did this does? It allows you to rotate around a specific area. For example, when I press C button on my keyboard. But you can select geometry and your cursor and your axis gizmo will display in proper position as well. Oh, we got an even area, I can show you good example. Not only you have gizmo placed uh, properly, but also you can rotate uh, around the object more precise. If I deselect this option, uh, will be still okay, but not the same, as you can see. It's not very, very good. Only in edit mode could be possible to do that. But if you want to work in object mode, it really works. Look to 3D cursor. Um, also, you can use a similar thing quick to quickly jump to that specific area. You have to go to mesh, snap, cursor to select egg. And you can quickly snap, even your viewport can snap quickly. Make sure you pay attention when you see this. Another thing which I wanted to mention, if your axis gizmo is not properly placed, you can change the origin. Uh, it's not displayed. Uh, I have to check because it doesn't show me origin. Wait a minute, why is not visible? It's supposed to be visible. Origin. Hmm. There, there must be issue because normally it should work. I have to check people something. Probably I will have to do like this revert. What this does, it deletes previous history, so everything can work again. Ah, uh, maybe because of this I have to change to global. Oh yes, I got. Wait a minute, why origin is showing here? That means I have to snap... Hmm, aha, people I forgotten about something. Hmm, I'm probably forgotten about something. Active element, uh, individ individual origin. Mm, no, 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 I cannot do that. Maybe because I will probably have to... Mm, Something is not right, because it should move my object location. Oh, 
Oh, now it works. Sorry, people. I had a strange problem because I couldn't see this before. If you or if you modify origin. Uh, come on, Blender! What are you doing? Ah, uh, this really annoys me. That application. Oh, now it's better. Maybe I will switch to medium point so I can easily modify. Now I have to deselect this. Uh, normal. Now you can see this. Because you can switch to normal. I have to check how does this behave now. Local. Oh, now it uh, shows properly. You can do the same here. Hopefully this will work. Uh, maybe I will uh, show you. You have to give me a few seconds because I have to think about something. Mm, 3D cursor. And I will leave in object mode. I have to modify. I still cannot get why this object is not located here. This is what doesn't make sense for me. I just think if I can snap this, probably I can snap this. Yes, you can snap origin uh, face. Blender did not have people this feature. This came up in a version. Uh, I didn't turn this off snapping. This came up in version 2.80 because Blender 2.79 did not have this option. As you can see, but uh, something is not really working as I expected. Because 3D cursor should, should come up quicker. This should be edited. Uh, quicker. I have to check something. Uh, project individual elements. Oh, now it should be working. Okay, if you press Shift S, you have to use option object snap cursor to select it when you edit origin because it is useful as well okay i hope you like this video also i forgotten to mention about something because it may not work properly if you extract separate polygon uh, control d mesh separate selection uh, there is one thing which i forgotten to tell you about when you focus on, on when you focus on one of the separate objects, you have to set origin origin to geometry, then cursor to select the otherwise this may not work properly. Ah I made a mistake. You have to use origin to geometry. I extracted polygon, but I did get something wrong. I didn't turn snapping off. Let's try to do this again. Mesh separate selection. Ah, Blender really annoys me. But sometimes. Now you have to do again set origin. Origin to geometry and shift S. Now we have object properly adjusted cursor. Make sure you use option view or geometry. 
Geometry is useful when you work with objects. You can also switch to active element or medium point. So your gizmo stays in the same position. But you can still snap cursor to object. So you can rotate around the object even when you place a cursor here. As you can see, shift S, we can also... Wait a minute. You have gizmo here, but your viewport will be focused will be focused uh, on one of the cursors. Cursor, uh, how to say in English, as you can see. But when you switch to 3D cursor, your gizmo will come up here. Okay, I think I just a topic. Any questions, let me know, because I had to update my all the video tutorial because Blender 2.79 is no longer supported is uh, re-augigated when you compare to this version I'm using Blender 2.90 2.90 version B and this has great feature mm. I already talked about but I will show you open image the noise so your render will be clean no artifacts or dark uh, dots uh, because this render re this uh, render engine removes uh, any leftovers okay have a nice day